David and Meg, thousands of bottles of water was found inside of this vacant building that you see behind me on 500 West Pearson Road in Flint. And many people I talked to in this neighborhood who lived through the Flint water crisis and still use bottled water to this day are upset about this discovery. We should know where every gallon of water is that comes to the city. Darnell Ishmael and Nadine Roberts, just a few of the concerned Flint residents who stopped by this property on 500 West Pearson Road in Flint today. Dozens of cases of water were found inside of the vacant school by a pair of so-called urban explorers who posted the scene to social media. Whatever the situation is, is unacceptable. In a city still dealing with a crisis, Robert says this water could have went to good use. Just this past weekend, I guess, the city and a couple of places, Mount Calvary right there on uh, Flushing Road, they were giving out water from 3 to 7. And quite a few seniors on my block um, had went to those locations and they were completely out. So who would leave all of this water behind to essentially rot or simply never get used? We caught up with the daughter of the building owner on the phone. She says her dad was letting a man named Mark use the building for a water drive he was going to host a few years back. My daddy didn't have nothing to do with it. He didn't have nothing to do with the drive or anything. He just wanted to help the community. She wouldn't give us any other information about who exactly Mark was, adding that her father thought the guy was going to donate the water, but she says he never followed through. Where he's supposed to have the drive. He kept saying, okay, we're going to do it this weekend. We're going to do it that weekend. He never came back to do the water drive. She says they are planning an event to give the water away and that it could still be used for gardens and pets. Ishmael says the stagnant water is an issue, but overall wishes this entire property was maintained better. People are back there doing things. They're stripping the property. I'm like, I'm not going back there because it's unsafe. Now, the daughter of the building owner tells me that they do plan on giving some of the water away to the community. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.